Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you to tackle a rather simple question, but I will run you through step by step. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be releasing many videos on AI, large language models, GPT models, and so forth. So let's get this one going. Like every other video I have released on Python development, I've got a Jupyter Lab on the right hand side of the screen, and I've got the hacker rank on the left hand side. The task is here. The first line contains an integer n. So, so I will receive an integer from the user. The input function doesn't give you an integer from scratch. So you will have to cast it into an integer yourself. So let's do that. If you haven't seen my video on input function, the link is up the top right. So let's just imagine we will receive seven different values from the user. That's done. The next seven lines, n lines per se, contains the name of the country where the stamp is from. So somebody's collecting stamps, they have collected the names of the countries and they want to know how many countries, how many different countries have they got stamps from. The output format will be the total number of distinct country stamps on a single line. There is one thing for you to, to remember at all times in Python. When you see the word distinct, most of the time think about sets. Sets help you to capture the number of distinct values in an iterable. Here is the sample input. The user will enter seven different country names. So UK, China, USA, France, New Zealand, UK, and France. So you can see that France and the UK have been repeated. So the number of distinct countries equals five. Let me show you how to solve this. You've already figured out how to capture the number of ent entries from the user. So that's easy. Let's make a set to keep adding the new countries coming in. So I will just make a set called countries and I will make it a set. That's an empty set, which is okay. I know that the user will repeat some operation maybe seven times or maybe 10 times. I don't really care. All I need to know is that I need to make a for loop for, for item, which is a country in range of n do something that many times, n times. What is that something that needs to be done? First, ask the user for the country name. So country name will come through the input function. The user will give it to us. And every time the new country comes in, I will add it to my set. I will add it to my set, which is called countries. And I will use that. And I will do that using the add function. The add function in sets adds new entries if they're not repetitive. For example, when you enter UK first time, it will add it. But second time, it will say, I've already got something called UK. I'm not going to add it in. So in, enter the country, add the country inside the country's set. Once you've got that, it should be easy to print the length of countries. Let's run this. The first country is UK. I'm just replicating what is on the screen. The second one is China. The third one is USA. And just make sure you are not making any dictation mistakes because then it will be a new country. New Zealand, uh, Zealand, and then UK again, and France again. So you will see that the answer has returned five. If you liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for a lot of GPT, AI, and LLM models that I am building in the background. What I will do now, I will copy the lines of that code. I want to test and see how it works. A lot of people have given me a lot of really nice comments and a lot of people ask me questions and I help them in the comments area. So don't be shy, ask me a question and I am more than happy to help you. Let's run that code and ta-da! It says, congratulations, let's submit the code just to make sure that we've got all covered. All test cases are successful and I have earned another 10 points. Thank you for watching this video.